Hey everyone, uh, so Victor and I recently got back from our trip to Italy. We were there for about two and a half weeks. It was a lot of fun and I'm sure as you can tell by the title of this video, I did do some shopping. I got myself a handbag that I had been eyeing for a while and uh, even though this video isn't going to be a handbag review, I did want to walk through the shopping experience and most importantly what the VAT refund process looks like. Um, it was my first time doing any sort of luxury good shopping in Europe, so this was a new process for me uh, and I'm hoping this will help some of you who are either going to Italy or Europe who might be wondering how you can get that extra money back. So um, I'll be talking through the shopping experience, the refund process through Global Blue, and then ultimately how much money I ended up saving. Okay, so to start off just sharing some additional context, we planned our trip so that we would end in Florence and Milan at the tail end of the trip. Um, those were the two cities I guess I had considered shopping in and I wanted to do it at the end of the trip to minimize any risk of stuff getting stolen. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen my video from a few months ago, I had my jewelry stolen from my hotel room when I was in Anaheim. And since then, I've definitely been a lot more paranoid. I also didn't want to be hauling stuff around on trains through town since we did do a lot of walking. So saving the shopping for the very end uh, for us made the most sense. And then since we were in Florence first, I decided to just start browsing there. And that way, if I wasn't ready to make a decision, Milan could be a backup. Um, ultimately, everything worked out in Florence. So I ended up making the purchase there. Uh, I got a handbag from YSL and after everything I saved about 950 US dollars compared to if I had bought the bag in the US. Um, so I'll get into more details on that later, but let me first talk through the shopping experience. So in terms of the shopping experience, the YSL store in Florence is quite big. It's actually much bigger than the one in Milan. So I think in hindsight, um, I was also just happy that everything worked out in Florence. The selection is a lot bigger. The store looks nicer. Uh, so we went on, I think, 4 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon and there was no line, so we were let in right away when we got there. Um, I did a quick walk around the store, but since I already knew which bag I wanted to look at, I went straight to the shelf that I saw it on uh, to take a closer look. Um, for those of you who are curious, uh, I ended up getting this bag. Uh, so in the U.S., it's listed at $26.50, not including tax. And in Europe, it's priced at 2,100 euros, which also includes tax, and you'll get a portion of that back through the, the VAT refund process. So you really save on two components, the fact that the list price is already just cheaper in Europe, um, and then also on the additional tax that you get back through the, rat, through the VAT refund process. So in terms of the shopping experience itself, I actually thought the customer service at the YSL store in Florence was great. Um, I took probably 30, 45 minutes to finally make a decision, tried on a bunch of different colors, different styles, uh, until I finally landed on the one that I got. The guy who was helping me, I can't remember his name, but he was super patient and gave me his opinion, but also listened to what I was looking for uh, and offered a bunch of helpful suggestions and showed me some other bags that were in the same realm of what I was looking for that I hadn't previously considered. Um, so after I finally made the decision to purchase, he then asked for my passport, so definitely make sure you have that with you. Um, and he basically took that to the back to fill out all the forms on my behalf. Uh, I'm not sure what this process normally looks like, but I loved how the store kind of handled everything for you. Uh, I just had to provide some additional information like home address, phone number, email, stuff like that. He also did ask me where I wanted to do the VAT refund, whether uh, I wanted to do it in Florence at the Global Blue Lounge. And Global Blue is the company that facilitates the refund process. Uh, so they had a lounge in Florence that was really close to the YSL store, a super central location. I'm sure it's close to a lot of other stores as well. Or if I didn't want to do it in Florence, I could also do it at the airport instead. Um, I chose to do it in Florence because I have read some horror stories about stores that didn't fill in the forms properly. And once you get to the airport, it's kind of too late. Um, so I wanted to do it there where I still had the option to say go back to the store in case um, something you know didn't work out or something got messed up. So uh, based on that, he gave me the final forms, which looked honestly more like a receipt, if anything. I thought it was going to be like a packet of paper forms. 
Um, so this was not what I was expecting, but again, I just appreciated how everything uh, they filled out for me. Um, so then he took the forms, put everything in this envelope, uh, and then also put this sticker on it that uh, you need to gain access to the Global Blue Lounge in Florence itself. Um, and I think that's just because they want to make sure that you've actually made a purchase in Florence. Uh, so they do check this sticker um, at the lounge before they let you in. So now let's get into the refund process at the lounge. So again, the Global Blue Lounge in Florence is literally a five minute walk away from the YSL store. It's a pretty central location. So I'm sure again, it's, it's pretty close to a lot of different stores. Um, the lounge is closed on Sunday, so that's just something to keep in mind, uh, and the YSL store associate talked us through that to make sure that that wouldn't cause any issues. Um, so I bought the bag on Sunday, uh, went to Global Blue on Monday. They open at noon, at least when I went in October. Um, nobody else was there when, when I got there. Uh, it's on the second floor of a pretty large office looking building. They did check the sticker on the envelope before they let me in, uh, and you definitely want to make sure you bring the envelope, which should also, which should also have the forms, uh, as well as your passport and credit card that you want to receive the refund to. I think you can also get the refund back in cash, but people were saying that credit card is easier and I think it's also uh, faster. So the lady helping me at the lounge went through and explained everything pretty thoroughly. She asked me, you know, when I was flying out of Italy, because apparently once they initiate the refund process, you have to leave the country and go through a final validation step at the airport within a certain amount of time. Um, otherwise the refund gets voided. So they'll definitely be able to tell you if you might need to wait a little bit to start the process based on your trip timeline. But for us, since we were flying out like three days later, um, it fit within the acceptable window to start the refund. So she took my forms, passport, credit card, and then basically just completed majority of the refund process right there. It took less than five minutes. Um, the refund amount was for 262 uh, euros and, and 50 cents, 262 euros. And she said that it would show up on my credit card within about three days. Um, and then she just reinforced the importance of completing that final validation step at the airport or else the refund would essentially get voided. And then as for the final step that you have to do at the airport, uh, the instructions are pretty clearly laid out on the back of the same envelope. And she also included a brochure with a helpful photo of what the kiosks look like that you need to go to at the airport so you know exactly what to look for. Um, so once we got to the airport, so the final part of this whole process, um, we got to the airport, it was really easy to find the kiosks that we needed to go to. Uh, if you're flying out of Milan, they are located in Terminal 1 on the second floor right above the uh, check-in area. You actually can't get there too early. They can only validate your forms, I think if you get there within three hours of your flight. So there was another couple in front of me that had shown up uh, four hours before their flight. So they were told they had to wait another hour before they could um, do the validation. Uh, so besides them, like no other people there, there wasn't really a line, not sure if that's normal, um, but I guess for me, it was a good thing. I just handed over my forms to the lady at one of the kiosks. Um, I think forms and passport, I don't think I needed my credit card at that point because that part had already been taken care of at the lounge. Um, and then, yeah, I was good to go. Uh, I did get this like custom stamp receipt, sorry, custom stamp receipt that just shows proof that the validation procedure was completed. Um, and that was it. So everything was done electronically, went very smoothly, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised. So how much did I actually end up saving? Um, so according to the US YSL website, based on sales tax where I live, uh, after everything, I would have paid um, $2,891.81. In Italy, when I bought the bag, the 2,100 uh, euros price translated into um, $2,226.26. Sorry, $2,227.26. That was the charge that came through on my credit card. Um, I paid in euros, always pay in local currency because that way you avoid additional conversion fees. Um, and then I got another $256.22 back from the VAT refund. 
So the total I paid was actually $1,971 and four cents. Um, so I saved the exact amount that I saved was $920 and 77 cents, which is over 30%. Um, so pretty good. And given how smooth the refund process was, I have uh, no complaints. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but again, not an expert. This was my first time going through this process, but happy to help where I can. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching.